It almost feels like an age since the last time I watched Overlord, so I really want to get back into it. Especially since we're getting a different focus for the episodes, and we're following along with the village that was originally in um, Season 1, and some potential dangers that are cropping up. Whether or not Ainz will have it in his uh, heart to go and help them again, but then again having more vassals and subordinates, it's not always a bad thing. So let's go find out. Are we going to find out more about this extra goblin? I would have the suspicion that he's some sort of spy, but... The fact that the she got to uh, get so close to them without anyone's knowledge of her being there shows to show goes to show the power gap between them all. Yeah, either the little goblin thing is just a. Remnant of a village that was attacked. Or there's some sort of bigger plot going on. But usually what happens in Overlord is that there are several elements at play that overlap to the benefit of Ainz, usually. This song is great. <laughs> it's a bit hard to keep up with uh, some of it in my head. Do you ever pretend that you're playing the instrument as well? Huh? Mm. So, yeah, she knows that something's odd. Well, everyone that has, yeah, grown up as a an adventurer being constantly on edge I suppose having a village that is integrated monsters and humans together I can't believe that there are too many of those out in the world which was removed. Hmm. So I was right to some extent. Well, you'd run too if you were being chased, wouldn't you? Yep, subjugate and use them as fodder. Will they have the strength to do anything about it by themselves?
I mean, sure you could, but that's got to garner some respect from uh, Ainz and everyone, isn't it? The fact that they're going to try and stand up and prove themselves first before having to fall back. Yep, they have done well. I don't believe Irons would have given them any kind of pointers or hints on how to achieve like the proper potions and whatnot. So they hold her in quite high regards. Um, but of course, I can't remember his name. The hair dude. He's got a lot to uh, pay back, doesn't he? After everything they went through. Even if they are sisters, it's a bit... <laughs> you can be over... in fraud by watching someone sleep. They managed to capture ogres? Nice. I would have trouble believing that off the bat, but... I like how all of the goblins have their own defining characteristics and then all the ogres are just CG and then very slightly different colour gradations. Well, that was easy. She's building a name for herself, isn't she? Well, she's not a normal person anymore. I wonder what level of like power rating that um, the gifts that Ainz bestowed upon them come under. Nice. So she'll be get yeah. Unless you can get some of the goblins to go with it, yes. Don't you have any other humans living in this village that you can take along? So she's in the same position that Ainz is, technically, isn't she? She has a bunch of loyal followers that think the world of her, and has basically gotten along by sheer luck. Yeah. 
if she, yeah, that. <laughs> well, that answered my question about the its power level, didn't it? Doesn't it? It's not going great. <laughs> But to their credit, they are going to be slightly wearisome. So his appraisal was correct. But just a simple villager. So she can find herself in the dungeons or something. I mean, yeah, she's not going to really have anyone to give have paperwork about her who she is. That might help. How fortuitous that he was around. He remembered her name, but he's in the wrong character at the minute. Oh yeah, when he dropped her off before the <coughs> before the Sword of Darkness uh, met their fate. <laughs> Have a word with the guy in charge. Effective. That's probably as good as any official paperwork. Did he really just kind of vouch her and then disappear? Seems a bit odd. Ah, of course. There we go. Mentioning the names of other members of Nazarick, of course. That's going to garner some favour. Keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> Is she going to accept such delays? Well, I guess she got enough information out of that. I wonder who's going to call that. Uh, answer that call to arms. Yeah, they're not going to do it for free. But how much? One thousand gold. <laughs> yeah. When you have people with no intention of paying properly, you're not going to go all out on actually giving them proper service. She has moral character, but we already knew this. Uh, 
Okay, what has caused this change in... Okay, she's a little more... ...accepting. Who is now involved to get her that? Hello, hamster. So she was interrogated by some guards, interrogated at the guild. Be executed. That probably wouldn't go well for the village, though, if they started just bringing goblins in and attacking adventurers, even if it is self-defence. <clears throat> I wonder if in this world you can subjugate monsters to be like your pets or familiars. I mean, we already know that Ainz did for the king of the forest, so... Well, that's just a spear. Of course, she's so nice and f thinking about her subjects. She's uh, the epitome of a leader, except... Can she uh, deal with the troubling decisions as well? There's only so far being good and caring for your subordinates. Why are they waiting outside? Okay. Tough decision time. Did... <laughs> I'm kidding. I like her character. <laughs> Is she going to say anything about meeting um, Navarrel or Marmonga? Not that Lupus should know who these characters are. Hmm. Well, you've got a good grasp on the situation. You've got a legion of goblins. You've got relatively the right idea of what's going on. you got ogres to follow you, for God's sake. You can get the village to. Oh! That is life. <laughs> Who?
those ogres... They're not going to have a lot of room to move around in, in there. They are building up quite a formidable little garrison, aren't they? Yeah, she's undervaluing herself quite a lot, but before all of the events, maybe she was just this village girl. Well, it would be kind of counterproductive if the use, your summoned units don't follow your commands. Maybe we just need to get more badges. Well, we haven't really seen any of the villagers, have we? You might have some that would go against it, just out of historical tensions or something, but... So she's going to become village chief and he's going to be the advisor, alchemist, probably some other roles as well. But I can expect some dark things to happen in the future. Because no one in this world is allowed to have a happy life. Well, not without Ainz's permission. I'm wondering why it was the hamster that was outside of the uh, the guild. Hmm. <laughs> because things are going to be fun. Especially if you've got a village chief that is already loyal to you. You're putting someone in position that you can... bend to your will. Hmm. There are forces at play here that are... Potentially damaging. Does Ainz care about the success and well-being of this village? I mean, he's put some bit of effort in already, so seeing that go to waste might be uh, detrimental. But we already know Nazarick and all of its occupants really want the destruction of all of those that they feel are inferior to them. So, since we've had the complete downfall of the underbelly of society in the big kingdom, and you've gained the trust of the powerful adventurers over there. Spreading your influence in this way is also something to take note of. I wonder exactly to what extent the maids have been ordered, because they're not going to have the same level of insight that Demiurge possesses, which is probably several orders of magnitude above Ainz, not that he realises it, but the destabilisation of the area by removing one of the top three monsters of this forest? 
Yeah, we can see that happening throughout our own history on how and how well that turns out for the areas. I'll give you a hint. Most of the time, not great. You then have the other two vying for power to reclaim the territory that has now been made vacant. Or you have splinter groups now also trying to uh, gain some of the aforementioned power. I wonder if it's the same for monsters. I am curious as to why the guild receptionist had that massive shift in her demeanour. If Ainz, Navarrel or the uh, hamster had anything to do with it, or if there's uh, more behind the scenes and some information that's being shared around that hasn't been made privy to us. Maybe I'll learn it in the next one. More than likely it will be somewhat already answered and I've overlooked it, as per usual. But that is me. I'm a moron. You know this. But those of you that have reached this far and have listened to my little ramble, I thank you quite wholeheartedly and if you can show your appreciation further and if you haven't already liked and or subscribed to the channel that does more than you can actually uh, imagine for the for me and my future but what i will say for now i really do hope you enjoy yourself but of course if you aren't enjoying yourself it's probably best you let me know and let me know why so that i can always do better for you but for now, you might want to get some rest, and I'll see you in the next one.